So right now the next really okay. One, two, three, go. Everybody. So today is going to be a favorites video. I have 10 favorites for the month of May and I'm really sorry that I dropped the ball on this but um, I haven't done a favorites video since November of last year which means I have a ton of favorites to share with you guys but this month I'm only going to share 10 because I want this video to be quick. I'm also going to leave links to where I purchased some of these items in the um, description box so you can definitely check them out if you're interested and purchase them. So let's get started. The first favorite is this brush glove cleaner. I actually purchased this from Buy In Coins. I spent about five dollars on this and what I like about it is that it is due for the Sigma brush glove thingy that they came out with a while back. Uh, the thing that I like about this is that it does have enough texture on the glove to get rid of any cream concealer, any liquid product, or any powder. I also like around the detailing of each finger. It's not as rigid, it has like these little lines going through it, so if you really need a deep clean, you can do that. So the next favorite I have is a brush tree uh, holder. Basically, it looks like this. And it just holds your brushes after you're done washing them. You want to store your brush, like you want to push your brush up like this and just hold it in there after it's done being washed. The reason why I like this is because uh, pretty much she's like my sister, she recommended this uh, system to me because when I was living with four other people, my parents plus my two daughters, it was really hard for me to wash my brushes and then just lay them flat out to dry on the countertop. Um, the space was really tight and my brushes would always get knocked over so I'd have to rewash them over and over again. So she suggested this to me. It holds the brushes upright so no bacteria gets into the ferrule which will either loosen up the brush or just bacteria is bad for your brushes anyway so they're not clean after you clean them. Um, and it takes up way less space. As you guys can see I can shove like four or five brushes in one of these. The little ones are for more detailed like eye brushes as the bigger ones are for your face brushes. This one I purchased from FTB Beauty for about $20 because this is like the brand named one but I didn't know that they sell these things online for like six or seven dollars so definitely check eBay or check AliExpress if you want a better deal. You will not get one that looks exactly like this but it'll look similar. So the next product I have is actually from my pro kit and this is probably like the pro pick of the month and it's going to have to be my color switch solo by Veramona. Now there's three different ones. There's a solo which just has it looks like this then there's the duo that has this on the outside but then it has like a little white sponge on the middle and then there is another one I think it's called the Phoenix and it goes on your wrist and you can just basically uh, take off product from a brush so this is just a powder brush cleaner it does not sanitize the brush it just takes off the color from the brush now I purchased mine at ftbbeauty.ca but I know that rickies.com probably sells this if you're in the states um, you could probably find this at one of the vendor booths at um, iMats or something like that but I'm not really sure where else you could find this other than like an actual pro artist store or ftbbeauty.ca my next favorite is actually makeup and it's going to be the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm absolutely obsessed, obsessed you guys with this color. It's just crazy. I really just like the highlight and the glow that it gives my skin. Um, I don't know, it's like this, it's like this really, really, really pinky, rosy, uh, metallic-y toned, color that just gives an extra sheen to my skin and I just love that even women of color could wear this because I know a lot of um, lighter tones can get away with this highlight but just to know that I can actually pull this off and a lot of people have complimented me on this it just makes me feel really good that it's not like ashy on my skin or anything like this and obviously you can get this at MAC so <laughs> I'll just leave that link down below. 
Another one of my favorites is Gerard's Cosmetics Cocoa Bean. I know that there's still a lot of like, I don't even know, drama going on with this company and website and whatever, but I can't get enough of this color. I've been wearing this constantly. And if you guys want to see my review on the Gerard Cosmetics, um, like the Gerard Cosmetics line, because I did pick a couple of, I did pick up a couple of products. You could definitely check that out. But I just love the color, and um, I again, I'm not a huge fan of the light. I don't want to blind you guys, but like, I'm not a huge fan of the light. Like, I don't care for things like that. What I do like is the mirror on the back. And I do like the color, and I do like the color payoff and the longevity. Um, I don't know, there's just so many mixed reviews on the website. But again, I will say about the products, like, I'm 100, like, I'm a thousand percent for lip gloss. So if you want to check them out, it's GerardCosmetics.com. I will leave the link down below for this specific item, but definitely check out the website if you haven't. My next products are the Beauty Blenders. This is the original Beauty Blender, and this is the Beauty Blender Mini or whatever the heck it's called. Um, they're my favorites this month because I really do enjoy both of them. I love the Beauty Blender specifically for applying my um, banana powder, believe it or not. I know a lot of girls like it for applying their foundation and everything like that. It just, for me, when I apply my foundation with this, it soaks up so much product. It's really hard to wring it out after. But if I apply my, um, if I apply my foundation with a brush and then go back in to kind of just give me that dewy airbrushed finish, then it's no problem. I'm putting down my concealer. It's like a one-stop shop for putting down concealer. I absolutely love it for putting down concealer and then also just setting the highlight as well. It's amazing. You guys can find this at FTB Beauty, Sephora, Beauty Blender. You guys know where to get these as well as the little mini one. I like it just for um, blending out my nose like highlight because I just find that this one is just a little, it gets all over the place and I have to squeeze it down. Why squeeze it down when I can just use a mini one? I know some people really don't like these but I do. My nose is kind of like it's wide but it's thin at the same time it's not pointy it's really hard to describe my nose you guys see how it is so yeah the next product that i have is the makeup forever professional aqua eyes pal uh not a primer the mufe aqua color liners and this one i have here is in black these are like the creamiest liners and they're so freaking pigmented that i have ever used hands down they get in my waterline they stay there they don't budge or anything like that I actually have a set if I can find it I purchased a set from Sephora like around Christmas I paid like 20 something dollars for it best investment of my life I am absolutely hooked and I don't think I will ever buy another liner from any other company. I'm going to talk about another illuminator and this one is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. You guys know how much I love this. I love this probably more than I like Soft and Gentle by MAC. This is just my everyday glowy look. It's just, it's perfection. Um, again, I know a lot of women of color aren't like, they steer from this and like run to opal. But opal is a bit more pinky for me as my skin is on the yellower side of brown. But just look at that sheen. Like I know you guys can see that at the bottom there. What the hell. Well worth the $23 that I spent. And you can find this obviously at Sephora or I believe the Becca website. But I purchased this little travel size from Sephora and I need another one. The next item is Kat Von D's tattoo liner and this is in Trooper and I really thought that like my fix for a felt tip liner was over but when I tried this out you guys it just gives you a really precise line let me see if I can just like it gives you a pretty precise line I know that I kind of went crazy with it 
but it is one of the easiest tattoo like easiest liners that I've ever used it's one of the best on the market and I can see why so many youtubers just kind of obsess about this now this is a travel size that I got free from Sephora but when this is done I will definitely go out and purchase the um, full size one and the last product I have to share with you guys is actually a hair care product as you know I wear lots of like wigs and weaves and things like that um, but I have to do like I have to wash my hair every week and condition it same with my daughter's my daughter's hair is very like it's natural so is mine but I just use the wigs as a protective style so what we've been using as like a leave-in conditioner or co-washing and things like that um, we use the on Jackie's curls in coils uh, in control anti-poof moisturizing and softening conditioner and this is just it's freaking amazing it smells so good this is how much we have left this is done we have another one that we're using but I just figured that I would show you like I love this that much that I've gone through um, containers of this stuff probably this is probably like my third one and my daughters are using like the kids line right now we're just gonna see how that one works out for them if not then we'll go right back to this one but it smells so good it smells like blueberries it smells like blueberries and raspberries and um, it's it like it takes very coarse hair it makes it super 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 soft again uh, this actually is sulfate free paraben free no mineral oil and no petroleum so it's good on anybody's hair especially if you have curly hair or like natural hair I would suggest buying this and at least trying it out I paid $9.99 for this one but where I go to get it I normally pay $5.99 I don't know why I paid $9.99 I think I don't know normally I pay $5.99 for this all right everybody so that was my favorites I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please thumbs it up and share it with your friends and families if you are new be sure to subscribe I create videos every week and I am so excited to make the next video and see you guys in the next one bye